Hey everyone, it's Sharon. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be decorating my little hutch for Halloween and bringing out all the spooky things. So here is everything that I'm using to decorate my hutch. Most of this stuff is just things that I already had from last year. I did buy a few new things this year, mostly out of the Target Dollar Spot or Dollar Tree, but most everything is just things I had packed away from last year. This is my little hutch, and if you've been around a while, you know that I love to decorate it for all of the holidays, but especially for Halloween and Christmas. And before I start decorating for a new holiday, I always wipe it down to make sure that I'm starting with a clean slate. So I'm using the Mrs. Myers in the apple cider scent. This is my absolute favorite. I buy this same one every single year. I bought this hutch several years back at an estate sale. I was looking for a smaller hutch to fit in this very tiny space here in the kitchen, and I found this for $25, and it was just the perfect size, and it's brought me so much joy over the years just being able to decorate it. All right, so now we're gonna get started with the decorating. So this is where I keep my little coffee maker. It is always in this one little spot and I use it every single day. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and then I'll decorate around it. If you watched my Halloween hutch decorate with me from last year, I pretty much went with a black and white theme with little pops of orange here and there. And since I'm using all of the same um, decorations from last year, I wanted to create a different look this time around. So I found these little potion bottles in the Target dollar spot and all the beautiful colors sort of inspired me to add in purple and this beautiful green color. I love the purple, orange, and green and black and white color combination for Halloween. I found these at the Dollar Tree, and although I think they're salad tongs, I thought they were so cute. I just had to buy them and incorporate them somehow into my hutch. So I think I'm just gonna stick them on here as if the hands are coming out to grab you. So I sort of played around with the idea of having these little spiders in the treat jar and I put some orange shredded paper in here and although I like that it added color to the space, I wasn't really sure that I liked it because you couldn't really see the spiders. Sometimes you just sort of have to play around with things and if you don't like it, you move it around. You'll see me move stuff around a lot during this video until I get it just how I want it. But I think overall I just decided this wasn't really what I wanted to do. So then I decided to just try some of the spider webbing in the jar instead. I figured that you would be able to see the spiders better and it just kind of made more sense that the spiders would be in the webbing.
Now I'm going to try to incorporate some of that green and purple that I was talking about earlier that I think is so pretty. I didn't have any decorations that had those colors in them so I decided to try to incorporate it with a little bit of shredded paper. You guys, this shredded paper is so hard to find. The only place that I could find it was in the Dollar Tree and unfortunately they did not have this green color so I just bought some tissue paper and figured I would work with that. My thought process here was that I wanted to try to create like a bubbling cauldron full of potion look and I don't know if I really achieved that but I do love the color scheme here. Just try to use your imagination and imagine like little bubbles coming up out of this little spooky cauldron. I actually really like this little spooky cauldron. It's probably my favorite part of the hutch. So I want to make sure that it's like right in here in the center of attention. So I'm moving things around. I'm gonna put my spooky cauldron right in the center and then move the tray back down where the coffee maker is. Here's where I start moving things around. I can definitely stand back and overanalyze things. It takes me far too long to decorate a hutch, more than the average person probably, but I just wanted to find that perfect balance and just move things to where I felt like they looked right. I'm gonna add this little Boo baby canister down here to put my K-cups in. I do drink one cup of coffee every single day and I get so excited for fall flavors. So right now I have the pumpkin spice, the Duncan falling for maple, I have the caramel pecan in the Great Value brand, and then this maple pecan is from a local grocery store called Food Lion. I prefer to drink my coffee out of the little tumblers rather than the coffee mugs because they keep my coffee hot. So I decided to just put a couple down here to add that beautiful orange and green color. I have these cute little signs that I got from the Target dollar spot last year for a dollar. So I'm just gonna use little command hooks to hang those in the background and fill up some of that empty white space.
And then I also have several little small pumpkins from the Target dollar spot, so I'm going to add those in as well. Okay, so now that everything is all decorated, I'm just going to add some of this black mesh stuff and drape it over the top, give it that kind of spooky look. And then I'm going to attempt the spider webbing. Okay, and here we go with the spider webbing. The spider webbing, oh man, like I have such a love-hate relationship for this stuff because I love the way that it looks, but only if you can really get it right, and I can never get it right. But I do my best. I think the key is to stretch it as thin as you possibly can, and then it kind of looks more realistic, but I don't know, it just didn't really work out for me this year, but I love the stuff, I think it's really cool. It's just for me to enjoy at home, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I struggled with this stuff for quite a while. Alright, so now I'm going to add some spooky spiders. These are from Walmart last year, and although they're very, like, obviously fake looking, I swear, if one of them fell off into the floor, it's real enough that if I came in here in the middle of the night, in the dark, it would probably scare me half to death. I'm so afraid of spiders, but it's funny that I love to decorate with them. Alright, and then to top it off, I'm just going to add all of my tumblers that I bought this year. I bought a ridiculous amount this year. It's, it's just insane, but I do actually use these every day. I'm just going to put them up here and display them. All right, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for coming along and decorating my little hutch for Halloween this year with me. I think it turned out pretty okay. I love coming in in the morning and making my little cup of coffee and just looking at all the little decorations. Sometimes it's just, you know, the little things in life that just make you happy. So hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, drop me a comment below if you feel like it. Don't forget to give it a like and I'll leave you with some shots of the hutch and I'll see you guys in the next one.